Well, Gary, thanks for joining us once more for a new season's edition of Borough TV. And unfortunately, we're reporting on a disappointing loss to Richmond to kick it off, a 65-point loss to our grand final opponents from last year. What did you make of it all upon reflection? Yeah, it was disappointing, Sam, and obviously in front of our new backdrop here too, mate, with the uh, sign. So the boys and girls on Borough Classifieds will have a different look now. It was, look, pretty disappointing, really. There's no other way to obviously explain it, really. We weren't up for the contest. They were big physically. They were fast physically. They were able to be better skilled than us. Uh, we couldn't handle the heat that they brought. They pressured us into making a lot of really fundamental errors. Our basic ex execution was poor and um, the game was pretty much shot by quarter time, mate. So if it wasn't shot at quarter time, it was shot bloody half time because 15 goals to um, five. So not a great way to start our title defence, that's for sure. Entering the game, the pre-season results had been mixed, it's fair to say, but our best result came off our most recent practice match against the Northern Blues, and then sometimes you just come up against a red-hot red hot opposition, don't you? And Richmond was certainly that. But do you take some solace from the fact that it is round one and subsequently gives us plenty of time to rectify our shortfalls from the game? Yeah, it probably does. I think Richmond were very, very good, so you've obviously got to pay credit to them because they were outstanding in so many areas. Defensively, we got smashed in the rucks and obviously the ability of them to intercept Mark in our forward line, but also to the way they were able to outmark and outcrumb us in a defensive 50 was outstanding, really. It does give us time to look at what we've got to do. There's no doubt about that. Our prep, as you had said, was OK. But by God, we were able to beat the Northern Blues by five goals and then Collingwood came out and smashed them by 123 points or something. So that may say there's a little bit of a, a golf potentially. We only had a couple of guys on the injured list and uh, one of those being Damien Mercedes. So on paper, that probably says we had our our best side in, but we look really underdone in so many areas. I think it's about going back to the fundamentals and, and really it's effort, it's standards that we obviously have to employ and play to, good habits. And I was really, really annoyed that we just didn't seem to show much fight. And that's a reflection of me as coach because you want your players to be out there always playing, regardless, we know the result was done but I don't feel in that first half especially that we showed much fight. Six goals each in the second half, but the damage was already done. Yeah. And we will keep it brief for today's edition for obvious reasons, but just to uh, extend on our next opponents, Collingwood, they were similarly uh, comprehensive in their win over the Northern Blues and will provide another massive test in a game where you'll be seeking a huge response from all the boys over the ground. Yeah, it will be, mate, for sure. They must have been really good, obviously, when I looked at their side some of their players are coming back from injury who are potentially AFL-like, obviously. So they've got to make decisions on whether they think those guys are right or not to be elevated. Obviously, we're coming up against one of our champs in uh, potentially Brody. Hope he gets a game and doesn't have to play, but that's just the way the, the game rolls. And, yeah, we need to, as the old saying is, get back on the horse. And uh, we've got a seven-day turnaround, and we've got to make sure that we identify the areas that we weren't overly great at and then use this as a launching pad into what we can do to play the way we want to play. And um, we just got totally consumed by the heat that Richmond brought. We couldn't play our game. Again, credit to them. And we need to move on in a positive fashion about identifying and then rectifying, really. Well, Gary, thanks for joining us to chat about round one in light of the loss. And fingers crossed we can rebound quickly this weekend. Best of luck. Yeah, thanks, Sam.